Ethan, how was the mood in the dressing room after that one? Yeah, very good. Everyone's very happy. Um, more so for Hendel. I think he deserves it after everything he's done for the club. Um, he deserves that goal and it's just a mad feeling assisting him. Just talk us through the assist. Did you, how did you, when did you spot his run and what was your, going through your mind when you were thinking about delivering that pass? When I got the when I turned with the ball, I, I seen that there was a few options on. There was like a couple of short passes I could have made, but then I seen there was space in behind, and I know Hendo does like to run in behind off the defender. So, and I thought if I get it over the top, it might have to be like a good pass because the defender or the keeper could come and cut it out. But I thought if I can find the space, Hendo will run onto it, and then you know what it's like, he'll finish it. So, thankfully, that's what happened. How was the feeling for you personally when you did hit the back of the net, not just for the moment that it was for Hendel breaking the record, but also giving us the lead in the game as well? Yeah, I know it was it was it was at a good time as well really. The like eightieth minute I think it was when the goal went in and I just thought I just hope we can hold on to it because it's not only is it great for Hendel, it's great for the whole team and it's a big three points what we all need and want and need. Obviously, we've talked spoke to you before about being a Rochdale fan growing up, watching Ian Henderson score all those goals that he had. Did you ever think that it would be you that was assisted him for his record-breaking goal? No, if you'd have told me that a few years ago, I'd have just laughed, but I can't believe it's happened, but I'm over the moon, buzzing. It's kind of like fairy tale stuff, isn't it? You just showed me a picture of you walking out with him when, when, you, when you were the mascot. How's it been just sharing a picture with him, never mind, sort of? In that moment. Yeah, it's pretty pretty mad really because I've watched him all my life. He's always been like the person I've looked up to and loved going watching on a Saturday. I've got it like got a couple of his match worn shirts at home. I've got a couple of shirts I had with Henderson Forty on the back. I was mascot with him a couple of times, so he, I walked out onto the pitch with him. So to share the pitch with him, let alone assist him, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. And it was a great moment at the end when the gaffer organised the guard of honour, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great, but he, de he deserves that moment. Like, he, I don't think it'll ever happen again, but he deserve for everything he's done for the club, he deserves everyone to applaud him. And yeah, he's done very well. Just on, on the game itself, it's, it, obviously it was a big moment at Hendo, he'll be the talking point, but it's a massive three points for us, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. A uh, huge three points. Hopefully it'll get us going again now, because um, we've been playing very well and maybe not getting the points we want, but we're we're only looking up now, and that's a big three points tonight against a good Salford team. So we'll just look to take it into Saturday's game. Yeah, how much you know? Can we kick on? You're know, using using that using the performances from recent weeks, but now knowing that we can go and get that result as well. Yeah, definitely. We're we're all already focusing on Saturday's game. It's a it'll be a good game at home to Mansfield. Um, I'm sure the fans will be up for it, and we definitely will. We'll be in training uh, Thursday, focusing on the Mansfield game, and yeah, we're all looking forward to it.